baby, my valentine Can I hear the Mickey, what the matter to the rest? If you leave me a good time Hey guys, how's it going? So, this video is about my TNT experience and hopefully you can learn some things about what it is like to do the TNT, uh, which is the trainer in trainee, uh, before you upgrade. And hopefully you get you learn some things about, about the process and stuff like that. Uh, before that, I wanted to give a shout out to my uh, some people, you know, they were very helpful during this process. So, a shout out to David, my trainer. Uh, you were really amazing and like uh, I learned a lot and I'm very uh, thankful that I got you because uh, I think that's a big factor on uh, how your TNT experience is, you know. Uh, also, shout out to Kimberly, Brian, Johan, the great Fabio, which I missed last time, Don Luis as well. I hope you get a nice truck and also uh, let's see who else. The new additions too, John, Sammy, Janelle, and John, who's about to get married. Congratulations to you. I uh, hope you have a great time uh, in your wedding. Uh, so yeah, let's get to the tips for TNT. Uh, number one, uh, see if you click with your uh, trainer first, because I think that's like a huge uh, factor and it can make or break your situation, you know? Uh, if you don't click with him, I'm, you should be open, you know, how you feel, what your goals are and uh, see if you guys match, kind of, you know, because you're going to be spending a lot of time with him or her. So make sure that you guys click and also are very open. And if you're not, you should definitely uh, call your fleet manager or whatever and tell them to Get a new trainer because you know you hear some <laughs> some really uh crazy stories out there so that's number one number two uh you should definitely be writing down everything asking questions and try to follow your trainer as much as you can when he gets out of the truck at least the first times just to see how everything is done for example like pumping gas uh you know distributing the weight on the tandems and the drives so yeah make sure you you, ch you get out of the truck and follow him at least at the beginning because it can get annoying <laughs> if you're following him all the time um, and also you know when you get a break you should definitely try to stay out uh, at least that's what i did you know i would try to go and do my own things to kind of like you know have my own uh, space you know uh, because, you know, we were spending a lot of time, so it's, it's, it's healthy maybe for, you know, to be a little bit uh, away from each other. And um, also try to, num for number three, tip number three, I think you should definitely um, see how the you can budget because I think, at least for me, I was spending about $100 on food a week which is not that bad i think especially with inflation going on right now um that's kind of how i kept my weight too because my main goal is to make money as anybody else but also to um my second goal is to keep my weight i don't want to get overweight <laughs> like a lot of the trucker guys that you see here uh so you know i was only eating once a day and snacking and that was it like no more because i just didn't want to gain too much weight and also i think that keeps your budget good you know you because you if you're spending like about a hundred dollars on food a week that's reasonable you know you can probably spend less uh but that's kind of what i wanted to spend because you know i, I was like uh when we were stopping somewhere i was like going to like something nice to eat too not just uh, junk food all the time uh and let's see what else uh oh and also i think like eating healthy keeps your mind very clear you perform better and you'll just be better overall and try to do exercise uh as well i've always been big on exercise now that i have my own truck here i have my own weights and stuff like that 
so i've been i've been doing it there's always uh you know even if you take like 30 minutes 20 minutes whatever it's it's good to do any exercise uh so yeah um also when you're out there be very uh careful when you're driving because you can get comfortable you know you at the beginning you'll be a little bit afraid then you get comfortable and then you when you get comfortable that's when you see stuff happening keep your distance you know you're following distance a lot uh always like double check when you're changing lanes and your trainer should go over with you hopefully uh to make sure that you you know how to do all those things and stuff like that and uh, yeah just don't the the last tip i can give you for me was like i never counted the miles because at least for me personally i just told my trainer yeah just let me know when whenever we finish <laughs> and i don't know the it, the tnt phase went by really quick so that was for me personally you know so uh, but yeah, those are the tips I can give you. If you guys have any questions, uh, just write them down. Or, you know, you can always uh, send me an email or just text me or whatever. So you guys know and everything, okay? So I'll try to make a, a video on the process to upgrade. And because I was kind of lost, there's a lot to learn. So we'll see you guys on the next video.